How do you usually say it? Well, say welcome, welcome back. back, everybody, to the Johnny Drinks Podcast. I'm your guest, Diana. Okay. Welcome back to the Johnny Drinks Podcast. This is your guest, Diana. Uh. Yeah. Okay. That do wasn't it. bad. Then do I'm it. your co-host, Johnny. I'm here with my father. John. And another special guest who has not been on camera yet. He's my cousin. He's my roommate, and not to get sappy, he is my best friend right now, Eddie oh, Porter. Wait, you said best friend. <laughs> wait, you said right now, though. So, yeah, listen, now. things change. Really. Things, <laughs> things change. Things change. Well, right now, who could knows be someone else go. tomorrow. Eddie, welcome. It's an honor to be here. Drinking Thank you. Johnny drinks bourbon. <laughs> yeah, we're drinking bourbon. Cheers to you. Cheers. Yes. Cheers to us. Cheers, cheers, cheers to us. us. Cheers to the family. Cheers so to the new year. two are going dry January. Are you going dry January, Diana? I was thinking about it. I can't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why? I consider because I have Secret Santa next weekend, so I don't want to. Oh, okay, that's fine. Start and then. Well, have to. the only reason I'm not uh, is I'm going to Vegas next week, so it's like, what's my point? February. Oh, you can't birthday. I could. Oh, my birthday's in February. It's amazing how many uh, things come. I can up. go. I can go. Uh, I can go dry January Friday one day. I could do it one day. Okay. Two, one, hey, listen, days. baby. They call those baby steps. Now, it's it's. Um, I want to say, uh, not ironic, because we came to this idea because he's here. We're going to be talking about marrying into a family and the importance of really understanding what you're getting yourself into. Now, it's funny. The one person that is not in a relationship is kind of driving this, uh, this, yeah. this, this bus here. Who'd that be? Me. Right. No one. Again. Yeah, so maybe you shouldn't drive it. Maybe I should drive this. Well, I want to tee you up. I want to ask you the oh. question. So oh, okay. let's take us back here to not the first day you met my mom, Jen Rondi, uh -huh. the first day you met her family. Jen Porta. Jen. Right. I met Jen Porta. And it was it was in the late 80s, right? 85, well, mid 80s, whatever, 85, 86. And that was in college. And, you know, we whatever, did our thing, college, got acquainted. I found really early on that what I what I what I assessed, or truly what I assessed to be the uh commitment to getting married involved a family. So I wanted to know and meet her family. And I got to meet her family and, and understand her family better. Mama and Papa, your mama and Papa, Ed and Nancy Porta, at a very young age, at 20, really, at really 19 and 20 years old. So it was through that process that all of a sudden when you, you start to think about, well, who do I want to make a commitment to and be married to? You're not marrying just that person. You're marrying the whole family. Yeah. And I liked her family. Did you have an idea of what you wanted out yeah. of your... You yeah, I wanted a family. And did they match like immediately what you were looking for? Almost to the T. Mm. Almost That's, to the T. See yeah. now, again, people talk about love at first sight and all that. I wonder mm. what was more important. Yes, your mother fell in love with me at first sight. But besides <laughs> no, that... she did not. Yeah, she did. Handsome guy. You chased. Hair, you hair so down the middle. middle. You're a great looking dude. Yeah, oh, so something happened. Can we pull up Some, the picture? Something's in the water that you've been drinking, but you progressed. <laughs> I've like, only heard that listen, side of the story. Yeah, 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 listen. Yeah, yeah. You guys are tell something different. You guys think you, know, you think you rocked the mullet? Maybe I had a better mullet back We're then. We're going to have to compare know. pictures of our, mullet, our mullets. It, so... <laughs> Do you think that did meeting her parents like give you like oh this is this is the one? It connected the dots. I would absolutely mattered to me when I was evaluating. All right, is this going to be the person? Um, and, and understand, you're, you're talking about and, and the way I grew up was very different than what I was aspiring to find. I didn't have some of the things that I was looking for. Which I grew up in a divorced house, so my my Christmas. And my holidays were always go here and then go there. Mm. Go with this parent, then go with that parent, no. which I didn't like. Right? Do you think that impacted her perspective on you at all? You'd have to ask her. I, I, I don't think it did because she knew what she had. Yeah. So she yeah, came never, from a locked yeah. down big family. Oh, Diana wants to speak. Because <laughs> <laughs> we, we've never asked mom how she ever felt about... No. Yeah. Not that she would say it was a bad thing, but right. I don't think she ever talked about my, that. my guess is in her head it was never a thought because she knew she, she had, had what it. she had right mm -hmm. and if i had the same thing i probably wouldn't put so much stock and care into someone else's family yeah. so having come from a very loving and supporting place and family it was just very different it wasn't the conventional because it was but what some would say dysfunctional because we I lived with my grandmother. I didn't live with my mother. I didn't grow up with my mother. I grew up with my my then eighty five 
to 94 year old grandmother. Yeah. And my mom lives somewhere else. And my, and my father worked. And so this was the life when I found my, you know, found your mother, it just became this whole world of like, wow, you do Christmas Eve together with 30, 40 people. I never did that. 30 to 40 people. And then you do Christmas day again. And then you do New Year's Eve again. And then you do New Year's day. It, those were the things that you guys uh, have experienced as young children that today, you know, you've removed yourself from and you've, you've removed yourself a little bit from them because you made the decision. Well, I want to go out on New Year's and you should, I want to go have friends. I want to, I want to kiss and hug and mm, smoochy up with my girlfriend. Okay, good. Do that. Or your boyfriend. You could do that. Stuff. <laughs> this is where it gets weird. <laughs> this is ready. Wait, no, ready. Wait, no, here's, here's a good so, one. Did you see John's most recent New that. Year's? Ooh. That's what I read. Mean. <laughs> now that has to be one of the funniest videos I've Fifth wheel. Fifth wheel or sixth wheel? How many colors? Two, four, six. Well, here, well, no, actually. Seventh, seventh wheel. I've never even heard that before. Yeah, one couple, two couple, three couples, but then I was not the only guy there. So there was another single man in the room. Who was there? Uh, Vinny's friend, Vinny, uh, Vinny, who was going to be very jealous. Well, that, was a very funny. that was a very funny. Vinny video. is uh, 34 and on New Year's had some, I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to say much about it. Well, you but just he did. Well, yeah, you put, I, you actually, <laughs> he was smooching it up. You, you actually broadcast to the what, 200,000 <laughs> I'm not, people. I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to say anything, but, but he was smooching it up though. Had so, a girl. 200,000 so, people. So, kissed yeah. on camera. So, approved of me posting it. All right. So, so clearly what you guys had uh, this past New Year's. Yeah. And in what we had growing up is very different. How so? Yes. Because oh, oh, there was like, a, yeah, yeah, yeah. we you we were there was a thirty to forty of us on any given New Year's Eve. Yeah. Any given New Year's Day, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day. But it is coming full circle because we mm -hmm. always spent it at Uncle Vince, and yeah. now that slowly, I mean, back. years have been in between yeah. of going out, but now you guys are back together. Well, we spent, spent no Uncle Vince was only Thanksgiving. We spent. New, New Year's, Year's Eve, Eve at Aunt Laura's. We only and went we to, to Uncle, Vince. Uncle Vince. No, what are you talking about? When you, oh, when you were babies. Okay. Well, okay no, when you were young three children, years. it was, no, it was always at Aunt Laurelin's down in Turnersville. Yes. When you guys were little, we would go there, ask your father. <laughs> your you, father would be like, I, uh, you, no, you were young. Yeah, see, I, well, I, see it's not fair that you have a, you have a built-in agreer with you. <laughs> no, no, no. Everything that, you no, say, he's going to say. I was there. You guys were children. You guys were babies. Yeah, but we made babies, but growing up, we were always at Uncle Vince for New Year's Eve. I'm telling you. From what age? From like, like from an age where you like mid adults, like yes. mid like teens. Yes. Like, remember, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Remember like, years. Yeah, I was gonna say like young teenagers, like mm. 12, 13, 14. Correct, because it changed. Right, but uh, but and that's okay too. But but what changed drastically was the bigger event of New Year's Eve and New Year's Day when we all slept over. We don't sleep over Uncle Vince because he doesn't have that. Right, he doesn't have that. Mm. Doesn't have. He wants his own. You know, he wants his own thing. I right, see, you guys. Bye. <laughs> see, you, see, see you next year. Yeah. Aunt Laura, differently, his sister would be like, "Come early, sleep over, she would. stay late." And here's food. And if you want a little food with your food, I'll give you that. If you want a drink with your drink, she was the host. She was the home base, and she mm. did all that. And so did Mama. She learned that from her mother. And so those are the things. When you think about marrying into a family at a young age where you guys are now, you know, you have to process and, and evaluate that and step aside and say, well, what do they do on the holidays? And how does that conflict maybe with what, what we do mm -hmm. on the holidays? Yeah. yeah. Right? I wanted, to, I wanted to ask that. What was your, your first impression New Year's Eve my, well, with my family? Well, with my... Right. For context, yeah, Eddie context. is... Backtrack. My cousin okay. by way of my mom and his dad or brother, sister. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the the first New Year's Eve's that we would have at your house. My grandparents' house. Right. No, what? No, I'm talking about your first oh, with, oh, my with, first. with oh, Aunt those, yeah. those were like That's epic. It was like big, a Super Bowl. Big party, right? <laughs> it was Super Bowl. Yeah. Really? It was great. Yeah. We really missed out on these big parties. You, 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 know, you know why you missed out? You, you didn't... Listen, those days are going to come back because... You're going to grow into them. But if you rewind it and you think about it, I was 20 something years old, 20 in, in college, mm -hmm. 21, 22 years old. And I was just a guest and I wasn't really part of the family, but I watched the, the, the then characters and people that you only hear of now, like Uncle John 
and and Uncle Al. These are Papa's friends. These are Papa's mm-hmm. brother-in-laws. Oh, right. These are pop- people who are alive that unfortunately aren't alive today. That whole dynamic was just very different. Right. And they had a room, a back room on their house that was just designed to host these parties. And the whole downstairs was just one big flow. And it was, it was just a lot of fun. It was always something I look forward to. So, you know, and I'm sure... There's other, you know, I, I lose track of some of the years because uh, it's just hard to, when, you know, as you get older, you kind of moving parts of things. But to your point, what was that like? It was epic. It was like, a, I did, never saw anything epic. like that in my life. Epic. Do you remember mom and papa's basement in Wayne? Yeah, vaguely, like downstairs and you go down to the left and like that little open right. room. And then but, there's room beyond that. Yeah. Room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. I, and it's also like the people that are around now, they are older. So like mm-hmm. papa 20 years ago, was more lively, could hear conversation. So what? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's, it's it's almost like people be reflecting on you, man, Uncle John. Yeah, hosted parties. Right. Always got a little bit too mm. drunk. Well, um, no. What? No. no, just kidding. No, you had a no, but you. But that's a good point. <laughs> you guys will at some point refer back and say, "Oh, remember those times? Uh, Christmas, we hung out afterwards in the basement. Yeah, rental talk. Epic. So those are those are great moments, and that's what for for me now." Um, if that's the, the chance that we get, I want to have more of those. Well, that's, I mean, a great point too is like, that's a really good test, right? So let's assume you're dating, right? You two are dating. You've been dating Dario for a very, very long time. You've been dating Alyssa for- I love Mario, by the way. Da- Mario is- <laughs> Mario, <laughs> he's Mario Italian. Tells me Ken. Oh, Dario, is it Dario? Mm. Oh, Dario, love Dario. Great guy. And now Alyssa- very different as far as uh, range of how long you've been dating, but the biggest test is the first holiday you bring him to, mm-hmm. right? Maybe you like her a lot, but let's hypothetical and say Alyssa came to our first event, shit the bed, yeah, and for whatever reason wasn't good. That's a good example. It's tough, but don't put him on the spot. No, to, no, that's, well, no, no, no. <laughs> Alyssa's great. Yeah, yeah, Alyssa's yeah, great. Great person. You're watching. <laughs> yeah, right. No, this is so nice. I don't she's not even watching. She's, told prob- you. she's probably not even watching. This. Hey, babe. <laughs> I told but you. If, you she is, <laughs> if she is, let's just all say we love Henry. <laughs> we yes. do love Henry. Henry. Her, dog, her dog is part of her, and that's something you got to be. You got to yep. keep in mind. So, yep. how were you? What was the first event you brought Alyssa to? She was at. Thanksgiving, right? Yeah. She was at Father's Day. It was Father's Day. Day. No. It was she the was first down, time. Wasn't she down at Aunt Laura's? Why, why I think she was... No. Yeah, that was Father's Day and August oh, birthday. Father's Day. And right, right, August right. birthdays. Right. I remember oh. it well. Yeah. Yeah. She came to uh, the family picnic. Was that after? Yes, family picnic. Well, that's yeah. all kind of... Cool, so she met all the family very, very early on. Right. I mean, because family picnic is then extended family, which is people that you see once a year. Some, mm. you know, so that's like... Some a, I can't that's, name. That's a big thing too. Well, that's another thing. Think about that. You just said family picnic. People who are listening, are like, what's a family picnic? Yeah. Some people do family th- events, picnics, mm-hmm. like reunions, every summer, forever for mm-hmm. thirty something years. I've yeah. gone to a family picnic, yes, and it's, it's been the core of the same twenty-five to maybe close to forty people, depending on how attrition and people die and people get and and obviously there's yeah. birth of children that mm-hmm. grow up to be young adults that every year becomes not only a, tr- a tradition but moreover like a holiday and you have to be willing to participate in that mm-hmm. if you're not that person and you're talking about right now Eddie and his relationship or Diana and her relationship if either one of those partners don't get it and don't want to yeah. be mm-hmm. making it a priority and follow you. Well, then that says something about yeah. that that other person. Was mm-hmm. and I because I remember getting ready here with Alyssa. She was definitely nervous, but of she course. was excited. Yeah, it's. I mean, think about it. It's so even just for Christmas Eve is twenty five people, thirty people. That's forty people, forty five people, and to bring somebody into that. And then, you know, there's a bunch of grown men playing wiffle ball in the front yard and throwing <laughs> shirtless. Thro- shirtless and then an egg toss. And now you're throwing eggs across yeah. somebody's front lawn. That's like that. Yeah. Now Diana brings the pitcher, the best pitcher in the league. He Wait, couldn't, remember, <laughs> remember, the first, remember the first year he couldn't Dario, hit or throw. Well, listen, Dario, Dario, so yeah. The first year he was, he was so nervous. He shaking with the, the bat. Oh, we could have we ran him out. If, if <laughs> we wanted great. to, we would say, see you later, pal. You're done. But I think I want to ask Diana the question and then I'm going to flip it. As the girl, as a girl in the family, and one that happens to be a little bit uh, judgmental is harsh, but whatever you could take it for what it is. How did you feel about Alyssa coming in? 
I love her. Oh. But I do have to say that <gasps> I no, oh. not not about that. <laughs> that I am the um, hardest, hardest. Gate, gatekeeper. Yeah. <laughs> what is the word? Like hardest. I have to approve How do you spell of them. It? With a B? B or E uh, No, okay, I'm sorry. I'm trying to say bitch. You are. <laughs> Go ahead. No, okay. <laughs> Um, that I have to approve of them. I mean, not maybe they don't care about my opinion as much as I right. think they do, but right. we I all think, we all go yeah. back and ask Diana. Yeah, first. Well, like, so what do you think? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what so what I think <laughs> Victoria, my other sister, could get along with anybody. Well, anybody. Yeah. She, she would talk to the fly in the room. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Dana will try to talk. She'll, she'll try her best to pull everything out of you. Sure. So she, she gives you. She'll break I think she she'll give you the best chance to break. But Dana will break. But she'll be mm, the most shops. welcoming. Like if you were mm-hmm. sitting there alone, Dana would walk up and say, oh, hey, what do you do for right. a living? Right. Diana, on the other hand, will not give you anything. If you don't give it to her, you don't start a conversation <laughs> yeah. with her. She, she, does, that she does that little yeah. thing. Who else does that? Who else does that? What? You're, you're a, sh- <laughs> a shade of your mom a little bit. You know that, right? That's the same kind of thing. But that's okay. Nothing this wrong with that. No, it's, <laughs> it's, it's that's all good. Mom it's is fun. mom is hard too because she's an adult. She yeah. is. Mom, I would say, is intimidating. Yeah. And Kat, very nice, friendly, sweet. Yes. Talk yes. to anybody. Talk yeah. to anybody. She's like, right. And Laura, Laura, the easiest. Yeah. And Laura, maybe easiest. the easiest. Oh, so there we go. Parallel. E- so we have two and Laura women. Laura and Victoria, very similar. Yes. Happy go lucky. Every day is you Disney. You kick it along with Victoria and Laura. Every day is Disney. Right. Mama. Hard, but also easy because she can talk. Yes. Yes. Hard to hard to impress though. My mom and Diana are. Listen, if you're going to get in a conversation with Mama, buckle, buckle. your chin strap <laughs> and, get, and make and get ready because a lot of these, for a ride. That's there's no there is no. no small talk. Nice weather. What do you think about the the sporting no. event? No, no, no. You're 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 in for you're a rocking. twenty to thirty minute. You be on first conversation. Let get me your see espresso. your let me see your investment portfolio. Get your, get your, <laughs> portfolio. <laughs> you're talking deep. So let's reverse that now. What was the first? Do you remember the first thing you brought Dario to? Because you guys were friends first, though. Um, no, we weren't. Yeah, you were. You guys were. Like fr- I didn't bring him into you're a 14, holiday. But I, remember he, but I remember he. Okay. Anyway. Like you met him before we were dating, but I don't think anyone else. Look, I didn't bring him around the family. The first time was probably. Mm, I would say eighth grade. No, the family wrong? picnic was the first time yeah, we met everyone. I think so. Really? Mm-hmm. Yes, because we started dating in January, so then it was August. Was the set was the next? Oh no! Or August? No, birthday. I think you're right. Or family August birthday? Which one of those? What year? How old? Two thousand fifteen. Freshman high school. So I was already a senior in college, mm-hmm. or I'm sorry, a freshman in college. Freshman in college. Huh. Good old Salve Regina. Let's not talk about that. No. Um, mm. Short subject. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm trying, trying to reflect. Let's do some therapy on that. <laughs> I'm trying to reflect on the first time I met Dario. And I don't really remember like how I felt about him. Because you were young. just, you, we, we didn't even talk. You didn't care, care kind of Johnny. You were a jerk John back then ass. too. Well, you cared about, you were in your own zone. You yeah, didn't care. You don't care. That's what age affords you too. You, you start to like kind of appreciate and understand and welcome people. Versus being at a younger age when you're 19 and 20, be like, ah, screw him, yeah. screw her. Yeah. Especially a guy. Guys are gonna be harder on, on other guys coming into the pack. I just, that's honestly, a wolf pack, and that's what you do. Yes, yes. Oh, that and and maybe we're a little more not intimidating, but I couldn't even care. Like, and he was quiet in the beginning, so I was like, right. all right, if you're not gonna talk to me, right. I'm not gonna talk to you. I would say honestly, the last couple of years have been the years that him and I have really, we've always been really close and I've always appreciated him yeah. as a boyfriend for you, but we have formed a relationship in the last two years, I would say really, really well. I think and so. And he's assimilated into the family. He's the best. I couldn't ask for a better. Mario's the best. Yeah. Mario, Mario and, and, and Mama, Jared. Mama adores him. Oh, Mama will right. take him over Me. some other you guys. <laughs> but, how, but that's, a, that's a good point. Like the, the love that Mama has for Dario influences Diana's decision. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's probably points, times everybody goes through ebbs and flows where Diana's been like, whatever. And her family saying, mm-hmm. snap out of it. He is a great guy. Is, yeah. is very helpful because if it's the other side and they're in your ear every time you're a little bit angry at somebody right. and they say, he's not the one. Right. Yeah, then it's I mean, if somebody to- is dating somebody and they fall over and they burn their ass on a hot kettle of, of crawfish, well, that's a problem. Right. Right. So it's a weird analogy, to- but yeah. Well, yeah, it's just an example. <laughs> Things happen. Is that, is that, that, is that a saying? Yeah, it's an old saying. If you burn your ass on a pot of, a pot of hot crawfish, don't stay with that person. That's Down, a problem. That's a, that's a southern. Southern, you know, that's, a southern, southern if you're that's a southern slang. That's a southern slang. Yeah, yeah. Burn your ass once, shame on. Yeah, shame on you. Shame Burn on your you. ass twice, shame on me. Shame them. on me. That's a really good one. Let's write that one down. Okay, good. Yeah, good point. Um, let me t- I have one more question, just one quick commercial break. But we're back. Uh, and we are back uh, with Johnny Drinks Podcast talking about the importance of marrying into a family. Now, Eddie had a question for John Sr. Good. I did. Um, on the day of your wedding, the 
Papa say anything to you that you remember or Mama say anything to you that like really stuck oh, with you um, on the day of your wedding? No. The day of the wedding, no. Or like something leading up. Before the wedding, mm -hmm. yes, definitely. I can't say what Papa said to yes, me. Yes, you can. Sure can. No. <laughs> He's not going to listen to it. Just do it. No. Pulled me aside. No, can't. I don't want to do that. That's not right. Can't paraphrase? He said, listen to me, you little... No. He, no, basically, he didn't say anything other than he wanted me to understand in, in no uncertain terms that I was marrying his little girl. And so with that comes a responsibility. And so he, man to man, made it really clear that he would support and love me, but I needed to, like, you know keep things in a certain certain way how'd you feel threatened <laughs> now how did you make no, no, I, didn't feel, <laughs> I felt loved no i really did because he he was he was always and still is the guy that you would as you get to know you respect and understand better yeah definitely and that comes with time and that comes with age and you know papa's a guy's guy there's times where he invited me. I, I never forget this more than once. And I was a young guy. I was probably your age. And he would say to me, why don't you come down, uh, come down and, and see me at the port for lunch? I'd be like, okay. Hmm. And I'd go down to the port. You been down there? You ever been down there? No, so, but to get cold down to the port for lunch. Well, <laughs> well so well, that was part, well, oh, no, it's <laughs> part of it. The interesting thing then, again, this was days before there were cell phones and there was no, hey, what are you doing? I'm in the neighborhood. Or, hey, can I? No, this was, you're coming down this time, meet me for lunch in, in, in a container, okay? In a container. Shipping container. A shipping <laughs> container that goes on the back of a tractor trailer. So if you envision yeah. what a tractor trailer looks like, those are containers that go on and off, right? And so they used to have this one set up in a container that was their lunch and their lob. Their, it was their place. It was their little club inside. They played cards. They eat lunch. They took a nap if you wanted to take a nap. It was your break, whatever it was. So he invited me down there. I met a bunch of his guys. And, you know, when you got to see firsthand what he did as a longshoreman and the environment that that was, it was like, it was eye-opening. Okay, so here I am, young guy. I'm like, wow, this is, this is out of a movie, like <laughs> literally out of a movie set. Who was in the room? What they were eating? What the, it, it, it looked like a holiday, and it wasn't even a holiday. So you talked about like earlier how people do these big spreads on countertops in their kitchen of the super sods and the cheeses and the breads and the. That was their lunch. Like <laughs> was, it was just all over the table. Tuesday afternoon. <laughs> right? So that was one thing. And then a few other things were like, you know, events that he would take me to, um, which were organized dinners. And I would learn real quick, like this is a whole nother level of respect. And this isn't a kid. This isn't me being a kid anymore. This is me. He's bringing me in for a reason to show me that, you know, there's responsibility now. And it was genius that he included me. It would, it would be like me taking you guys somewhere, me taking Dario as an outsider to be part of the world. Now you're accepted. So there's a responsibility with that. So that was always something that was pretty special. And I reflect on that. And so, yeah. I'm just really, I'm, I'm, I'm pondering about everything you're saying. And I'm really thinking about the true importance of a father, and I don't want to like exclude women that don't have fathers in life, but a mm -hmm. father figure or even the mom, how important it is for the son or son-in-law to feel that like pressure of not letting them down. Like that, that's a different yeah. level of I'm locked in on this relationship because if you don't have that and you're dating around with a girl here and there and maybe she upsets you and you're like, yeah. screw her, I'm out of here. You don't, that's it. It's, it's so shallow, I right. feel. And so connecting the family I'm just talking yeah. through it right now. It feels yeah. way more important than it did 30 minutes ago. Well, it's bigger. I hope everybody that's listening feels the same way. But but it is. It's 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 a bigger responsibility because when you say yes to a partner, you better be all in for for the for the right reasons. The big, things don't work out for a lot of reasons, and that's not. But when you take that first step, be in it 
for the entirety of it. Right. Except the person as a partner, except the family for who they are and embrace all of it. And if you have any hesitation and reservation, well, that's probably not a good way to get started. Mm. Very good point. Yeah. It's almost, I don't mean to be sad right now, but I wish that I could meet Papa now 20 years ago. Mm. Like, I don't think when I was a kid, I got to appreciate Papa when he was able-bodied, you know, I, and I get bits and pieces, which is great, and he's still yeah. alive. But being able to really have a, a, a conversation with him and go out with him, oh, you too, pretty special. Should go take him somewhere and go no, do something. And, and we do, but, but you can't. Getting... But, but you do it. No, no, no. I'm not, I'm not putting guilt on you, but that that's a good opportunity. No, my point is that we we hang out with him now. We're getting that eighty some years old. I would never be able to get him at 50, 60 years old. You know, and I think that'd be pretty. But cool. he was no more. Let me tell you something. No, Papa, by demeanor, is the same guy. Yeah. Don't think he was yeah. Mr. Party Animal. No, 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 no. the no, same think, yeah. guy. Soft spoken, hung around. He, he, when he said something, you listened, and it's the same way today. Yeah. So, honestly, to me, he's the same guy. He he. Ha although his hearing is a little off, <laughs> and for selective reasons, he doesn't want to hear Mama all the time, <laughs> which is great because he looks at me and he winks sometimes. <laughs> he goes, "What's she say?" <laughs> You're the best. So anyway, my, I think you just you touched on something that you guys can take an an opportunity. And just say, hey, like we went to the Mets game that one time with me, mm -hmm. you, your dad. Were you with us? You must have been with us. Uh, Joe was with us. Eddie, Vin. I feel bad Vin's not here. Ooh. Should we call him? That's my brother, everyone. Yeah, we should. <laughs> big fan of the Giant Tracks podcast. Well, yeah. Big fan yeah. of the Giant guy. Is there a chance we can get him on a phone with me today? That's even worse. Uh, That's even worse. No, we, we, call him. We, we could definitely, we could we could definitely call him. We should call him. Call him. Hey, oh, Vin, how are you, buddy? Thank you for asking. I appreciate you answering the phone so quickly. I love that. This poor guy. That's the best. I was ready for you. You gave me the timeline and everything. I did? Has no clue. He has no clue. I'm calling you in 10 minutes. Was it 10 minutes? Uh, it was close. <laughs> You're on a podcast right now. I teed you up. I'm with I'm with your brother. We're doing his family thing on a podcast, and we were talking about you. I said, so let me bring you into it a little bit so you're part of it. You okay with that? Okay. Yeah, so yeah, I'm yeah, sorry yeah. we can't show your face, but at least you're part of this. Vin, so. next time, bro, you're coming on. Next yeah. time. All right, all right. It's probably not going to happen for 2000 until 2025, but next time you're in. <laughs> you have to get him the day after. <laughs> you understand? All right. So all listen right. to me. I just, said to, I just said to Johnny and to Eddie, specifically with Papa, you guys need to take advantage of him still being around and go find a place, a venue, something to go do something with him, all right? So you're the oldest. You're going to have to spearhead it and let these other two young guys follow you, okay? Can you do all that? Right. You can do that, right? Yeah, I can do that. Now, what do you want to do? What do you think, a baseball game? you think just a dinner? What would you do? Uh, I mean, the baseball game was definitely what instantly popped into my head. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. How about, all right, so so think about it, but you're the guy. You're you're up for the, uh, you got the assignment. You just got the call. Okay. You got the call from the okay. bullpen. You got the ball. Yeah, all right. All right. All right? I can do it. All right, we're going to let you go. Then we just got done talking about your girlfriend. <laughs> oh, he said he was talking. Don't say you're talking about his girlfriend. Oh, the new girl with the kiss? Van, the kiss. <laughs> the 200,000 view kiss. Wow. I can't believe big, that. Big. Congratulations. Congratulations. You did it. You did it. <laughs> you did it. World's best coffee. All right, Van. Oh, Van. Go back to work, Van. All right? All right, guys. Love you, buddy. Bye. Bye. See you, Van. Great. He's like, what? Classic. His head's spinning right now. He's like, damn, how come Eddie's on? I'm not on. Poor guy. He'll be on. He'll be on one time. Uh, oh, I wanted to flip it over here to you, Diana. How did you feel first time meeting Dario's family about, because now Dario Good point. has three sisters, three, three sisters and a mom who is strong opinion. And so, mom listens to this show all the time. No, Dario's mom. Yeah, Dara's mom's Sicilian, so she's she she's hard. Listen. I don't think she watches. No, she doesn't. <laughs> she should. I pretend like she He is. comes from a very old school Ooh. Italian family. Yeah. Um, so with holidays and stuff, it is very mm. similar. So they have a big Christmas Eve, big Christmas, not as much Christmas Day. But that's the whole thing with deciding on, right now we split. But I always say, who mm. are we going to end up going to? Because yeah. for me... I'm like, we're staying with my family, but he also is like, 
you know, it's a very big thing for his mother mm -hmm. to have all of her kids there. Yeah. But my first opinion was like, it's been years and I had to like, I guess. Adapt. Adapt and yeah. show, yeah. you know, who I am. Because I, I was already judged like right off the bat, I, f I feel. Because really? he's the baby of the family, mm -hmm. the boy. It's the, like the big thing. Mm. And yeah, I feel like I had to prove my my yeah, spot. Your worth. That's interesting because, and, and what, I, what I will say to you is the advantage goes to, so if both things are equal, you have a family, he has a family. This, this is a hard one, right? Because you both have families, big Italian families, traditions, you know, routines of who goes where. That's hard. But the edge advantage goes to you because you're the female who's in the end going to be the mom, who's going to have children, who's going to, going to, going to, you have that. So in time, it will be what you probably you say that to his mom into, well, I'm yeah. just, no, 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 <laughs> that's how it goes. And you I say that to my mom, you, I, mom and I already talked about this. We know this road, this, the, you, this is the path, all things being equal. It defers a little bit to the, the female to the mom. Listen, there, there's... I grew up in Verona. I live in Wayne. Why do you think I live in Wayne? Because mom, mom grew up in Wayne. Okay? I wanted to grow up. I wanted to stay in Verona. And I was like, well, I want to stay in Verona. Why don't we stay in Verona? She, well, the next thing I know, I bought a house in Wayne. How'd that happen? Influence. Because the edge went yeah. to mom. And it's the same thing for, for you and whoever you partner up with. If there's a heavy family influence, it will tilt to the female, to the mom. Yeah, yeah. And that makes sense because in the end, when you have children, it's the different. traditions become, yes, both of the family, but it's it lends itself to really, I think, how children get raised. When you need help, it's usually the mom's mom mm. that helps out more than the son's mom. Really? Yeah, mm. absolutely. My, my mom will help all day long. But does my mom measure up to her mom? No. I'm a, I love the ground babysitter. But my point is, you do shit. If, you, if it's your... <laughs> if, yeah, you do if a party while she's home. <laughs> Grandma babysitting, that means nobody's babysitting. <laughs> if you defer, if you defer as she's... Who are you going to defer to? Your mom or his mom? You're going to defer to your mom yeah, but, I, but they're different people. Yeah, I feel... But, but you're you also have making faith a strong and confidence in your mom. Because I feel like it depends on... Like, if they end up with someone that... A girl that doesn't have a big family, mm -hmm. then I feel like they would end yeah. up... The holidays are so much easier to decide on because right. they're going to go with the, the one with the bigger family. Right. And... It just depends. Like a lot of right. people have parent issues nowadays that they talk about more. Right. So well, they're more willing to be like, oh, I'll just, I'll stay with your parents. Well, that's why I said all things being equal. He huh. has a big family. You have a big family. You have traditions. He has traditions. So it's a, that's a different scenario. That's he tough. may marry somebody who has, who says, I don't care what we do. I don't do anything for the holidays. <laughs> so it's easy now. Everything goes on to his side. He's not going to marry someone like that. Well, whatever. And Eddie might have find the same type of thing where I don't know what the family does. Well, I wanted to be, I wanted to get on, I don't want, I don't want to leave this topic yet. Who was the hardest sister to like, who are you most intimidated by? <laughs> what, in Dario's family? Yeah. Oh, Sabrina, you can't probably. Pick that. Oh. Really? Yeah, Vanessa's Victoria. Vanessa's oh. like Victoria. I've only she seen videos where like, she seems so like she's very nice. Like, yeah. Easy going. But also, Serena was closer to my age, so she was in high school while I was in high school. Similar to like, well, no, Joe and Dario had a different relationship. But, like, Dario was always terrified of you. Still, probably up mm. until, like, <laughs> two still, years ago. Diana's convinced that Dario only laughs my jokes because... Yeah. Um, uh, like, everything John uh -huh. says. Everything stop, John says. Stop, <laughs> stop laughing at him. You know he's not that funny. Uh, <laughs> he just agrees with you. Yeah. Everything John says, Dario Or that, like, Or that Dario isn't as mushy in front of me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's not. He's giving so Diana he, he goes, yeah. Oh, hey. yeah, he's like, or I'll he's, say something and... Oh, like Dario will like react to it, like in like a he. How he's he like, stop acting cool in front of John. I'm like, stop acting like that. That John's in the room. Yeah, I know funny. you would laugh at my joke if he wasn't here. Well, he's intimidated because he was <laughs> no. What, now what she's saying no. He no, is but still Dario, is. I was saying he grew up. Dario grew up at what 14, 13 years old. Mm -hmm. John was a senior yeah. in high school. So, That's what I'm saying. It was the same with me and yeah. Sabrina, yeah, his yeah. older sister. Right. So that, okay, that would makes you guys sense. ever like go out to eat together? No. Uh -huh. No, like now. Yeah. Yeah. 
You guys go on vacation together? Yeah, we go on vacations every year. Yeah. So yeah, Sabrina's great. And Dara's great. How do you feel about Henry? Alyssa how do you think, the, how do you feel about Henry? All of a sudden, the guy who have, never liked family? dogs. I have, Let's I have, talk about the guy who never liked dogs. Now we babysit this dog. Now he <laughs> holds a dog like it's a stuffed animal. Can you see me carry Let's him talk. around? <laughs> no. Like a little I said, I said, I said to Vin, <laughs> I, said, I said to Vin the other night, I said, Vin, look this guy. Him? He went from zero, doesn't want anything to the dogs. All of a sudden, he's a, he's a dog he, he's a dog whisperer. Henry's like a human, though. Listen, you have to... you have to. <laughs> Henry's easy. Yeah, he is. He does. He's easy. He is like a stuffed animal. He really is. Every once in a while, he just like, when you come home shopping, and he'll just like stick his head in the bag and yeah. take some stuff. <laughs> yeah. That's about and it. walk into the fridge. Yeah, he just walk into the fridge and take stuff. But no, I mean, that's part of that's yeah. part of life. That's part of a relationship. You kind yeah. of have yeah. to... Adapt. You, you adapt. have to. People, our family especially, is all everyone says, oh, I've never seen Eddie so patient before. Where'd this patience come that's, from? That's... Point on. Who says that? Who says that though? Everyone. Well, who says it that way? <laughs> Never seen any. <laughs> Her and Jen. So patient. Yes. Oh, and, and Jen. And Jen says it through? My, yeah, da- my, yeah. my my dad huh. says yeah. it. That's what funny. you don't. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> but that's good though. No, yeah. you you've evolved that way, and that's that's yeah, you're maturing as an adult. Mm-hmm. Twenty. Years that's old. what it's about. You know yeah. your influences for the better and for the worse mm-hmm. to the point of why it's important to make sure you have the right alignment mm-hmm. and the right person. You could at least start and have some sort of conversation which evolves into some other things that's important mm-hmm. and so good for you. you you got some you got a good girl there yeah, thank you yeah. and it, when when she does come around our family it is it is amazing to watch our family yeah. interact with her and it makes my life a lot easier yeah. like mm-hmm. it's on the back of my head she fits like, right in yeah mama, Slides right in. Mama, one thing about mama Alyssa that I always say for someone like for my brothers today or someone even Vin whatever what, you have to be able to sit in the room alone without your significant other. So mm-hmm. if you were to leave the room and she could sit there and have a conversation with me, I'm like, oh, this girl's she's like, nice. she's, she's very good. comfortable. Right. If you can't, if you're acting all nervous right when your significant other leaves the room, then yeah, sorry, hard. I can't. Yeah. Our family, whether we want to think we are or not, we are intimidating. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's just a lot of, it's just a lot of people, people in lot of, one room and a lot of volume. A lot of volume, a lot of I, opinions. A lot yeah. of A personalities. Yes. A yeah. lot of A. Listen, A, 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 I don't know if you're, I don't want to say you're not an A person because you're better than, you are an A, no, 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 you, you are, so your mom, your dad's an A person now, your mm-hmm. mom's not. Right. So you are not a strong A personality, although you have dominating personality traits, which mm-hmm. are a compliment, but you have your mom's demeanor, which is, okay, yeah, 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 okay. yeah, yeah that's like, good, that's, yeah. that's a great balance. Mm-hmm. Um, we think? don't have that, we don't. Huh? You think? Absolutely. With him? Yeah. Uh, yes, I do. I, do. I would say he leans more A. Like if you, I would ask if it was A or B, I would choose A. He is. Like a, his mom is B. He is definitely an A personality, but not to the strength of what I would say you are and she is, and even I. Your mother, your mother's not an A domineering A personality like mm. that. She's more of a a a, a patient follower, and, and Vin, his brother, is similar to that too. Mm. But that comes from your mom. Yeah. Your mom was just like, oh, you know. What about David and Bobby? David, all day, the two of them are cut from the same corny cloth. <laughs> so, same, same thing. The same orange corny cloth. That, that's what they're cut from. Orange. It's got to be orange. Clemson. Clemson. The Clemson orange. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm really trying to like think about the differences between an A and B personality. Like if you consider Eddie a B. I don't no, consider him a B. No, 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 no. Wait, but so wait, where in do, his personality do you consider him a B? I think in some of the things that like we just touched on right now, like he has found a friend and a girlfriend and a partner and he has fell into a role. He's fell into a place where she's a strong, she's a strong person. Yeah. Okay. That's not the knock. No. But she's got a strong personality. Now I'll tend to think in the moments where it goes, you know, but, 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 she she'll go there faster, and sometimes you know that there's there's a, a a contention which is your personalities. Your two personalities are very similar, mm-hmm. okay? Which is a compliment. That's mm-hmm. great. But when you have a contrasting personality, you can see that easier sometimes, right? right? Your dad is strong. Your mom is not, and in her moments, she's mm-hmm. very strong. But there's a let. She knows. She'll pick and choose her battles when she wants to like say that's, something. That's definitely something which is that, quiet and, behind closed doors. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And so that's kind of the thing that I feel like I do more now is 
picking and choosing battles. Like mm-hmm. there's always there's if you talk to somebody long enough throughout the day, you're going to argue about something. Of course. Right? You're well, in the same you're when you're, difference yeah, in when something. you're when you're in the same room, it's just like something's going to happen whatever, right. but there's always a time and place maybe something that you really feel strong about that you need to argue. But for the most part, if you're just kind of like, okay, let's maybe let that one kind of slide a little bit and we'll go, we'll give it. Let's agree to disagree. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Agree to disagree and whatever. And just kind of like let it slide. Like there's always going to be something else and don't need to, to take them all. But what you were saying, like, you know, when there is an argument and there's, you know, how fast you go up, she might go pretty quick mm-hmm. but when i do go it's going to be over yeah. the top right? uh, yeah but that's that's <laughs> where that's where i'm that's where i'm, that's where I'm, that's where no I'm struggling no that's one, where i'm struggling to and no one no. wants to, no because no one wants to and that's what uh, you know that's the part of that a personality is like you don't you don't ever want to get to that over the top because sometimes you get to that over the top and then you can't, you can't come fix, back you, you can't, can't fix it. you can't come don't, back from the over yeah, the top don't, don't think for, for a moment when i say uh, a personality less than no we, no, we, no that's weakness no, yeah, that's no, not no, weakness not. No, no no there's a lot of strength in being subtle there's a lot of strength in being composed and 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 patient mm-hmm. a lot of strength that comes from people who are able to analyze and think through a situation two three moves maybe beyond and then then they wait for their opportunity that I mean whatever that is yeah I get maybe that's another thing to look at when you're Marrying somebody is their personality versus your personality, A and B. Because I don't know if two A's would do that well together. You're both getting hot. Well, listen, if you, I could, I, I, I could cite many couples that are not couples anymore that were complete opposites, complete opposites, which you would think, well, that would complement one another and they should still be together and they're not. No. And then I could find, the same thing about two very similar personalities mm-hmm. of people that you, you you say, how the hell are they still together? Right. And they are. So you know, there's no there's no uh, baking recipe for a relationship and longevity. Well, I really do think the one consistent is how much you like their family. Like if you you could really have a ton of love for an individual, yeah. but if you don't like their family, something's going wrong. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Maybe you guys are not going to now flourish. Yeah, and appreciate one another as much because now every time she gets in an argument with her own mom and you're mm-hmm. the one saying, yeah, well, your mom sucks, that's not good for either of you. The, the, the things that get in the way, there's, there's two things that get in the way of a flourishing long-term relationship. One is finance. The other is family. And the two of those things can really mess up what's otherwise going to be considered a good relationship. Because you can have a good relationship and you can think you're on the same page with somebody, but uh, as a guy, I may be super influenced by my mom. And my mom is saying, she's no good for you, but I love her. No, she's not good for you, but I love her. She's no good for you. So that family influence is critical as well as financial. When you're you know, when you have money or you're making money and everyone's doing, pulling their own weight and contributing to the household, well, that's cool. And that's, it's a mindless thing at that point. You know, you have a bill that comes in, you pay the bill. But when one person's not pulling their weight and the bills start to pile up, there's animosity that builds up. There's, there's things that begin to creep in that you don't care for. You, you, you see past how beautiful someone may be. And you start to not like them because you feel like, well, I've got all these bills now to pay as a, as a couple and you're not doing your share. Those are two things that are unfortunately going to creep in and affect your relationship one way or another. Family and finance. Hmm. Family and finance. Interesting. You also learn a lot about people when you dive into their families. Like you realize a lot about reasons they're acting certain ways and, oh, it came from because let's assume they had daddy issues or they didn't have a father in their life or they yeah. had a bad relationship with their mom where they constantly were told they were wrong or he, uh, you know, never felt good enough for his dad. Like, there's things right. that now, if you really learn from, I think it's not, okay, be, they have that problem. I'm done with them. It's just understanding that, bring it to light. And then every time they show a little bit of that, uh, understanding it a little bit better and not give them so much. So think, so think about the way that you guys grew up. All right, Let, let's take the simplest thing, you don't feel good. 
you don't feel good. How does your mom help you get through the moment of a fever, a cold, whatever? Is it is it A, nurturing, and I'm going to make you chicken soup. Uh, I'm going to help you with the cold compress on your forehead. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Whatever it is. Or is it just, just sleep it off. You're, you're fine. Like those things that you would take for granted, you would think, one would think every mom would be able to do the same thing for their child that same way. That's not the way it is. I was sick a couple months ago. Mom drove medicine to me. <laughs> yes, she did. She drove little little healing salts. Okay, so, <laughs> and so wait, therapeutic and <laughs> healing salts to me. Okay. Now that's imagine trying point. to be my girlfriend. <laughs> so that's my point. So if you're, Stop. if someone else grows up in another family, and the she family, brought a loaf of sourdough bread, and now now, and they saw she said, "I'm meeting John at Clifton." I, didn't, I, didn't, I just I saw the loaf of sourdough bread. So, I didn't know how I got into the so, so think about that. So think about it. now. You your partner looks at that and goes, "Are you kidding me? No, your I, yeah, mommy's yeah. taking care of you." You'd be like, "Yeah, you're right. I guess no." Right. Or, I would or, say, or uh, no, you'd yeah, be like, or you're like, "Hell yeah!" What you you know? That's the dynamic yes, of where the my, family my future wife influences be right your relationship. You can get me. very defensive over your mother in that example, and rightly so. If a woman ever said to me, you're, you're too much of a mama's boy, or your mom takes care of you way too much, yeah, that'd be a... <laughs> That's a know. problem. Because I don't yeah. think I take advantage of it. Like, I don't go home and throw my laundry on the floor and say, mom, yeah. clean it up. Like, no. she treats me... Right. And sometimes I give it to her. Like, I know she likes doing my laundry, so I'll bring it home and let her do it. I like doing your laundry. <laughs> I'd rather you do your laundry than see you sit on the floor. Imagine I brought home laundry to my dad. <laughs> your dad would kick it. Yeah. Classic. Not my laundry. No, not your laundry. <laughs> but like moms like doing that shit sometimes. Oh well, yeah. I mean, but, but yes, everyone's different. And uh, that's the point. How you're raised impacts and influences how you're then you're going to have your relationship with somebody else. Yeah. I mean, it goes back to the, the Italian culture. It's mm -hmm. just... A mm -hmm. mom takes care of her son until the day she can't. And I think women nowadays, like, they'll look at that almost in a negative sense. But the most attractive thing a woman could be is motherly. To it's you. hard. Well, it's hard for, listen, I don't, it's I'm hard. Speaking well, right as, a, as a, you're a woman, so. I baby Dario. Okay. Oh, yes. He also babies you. <laughs> So don't, don't act like he's sitting on Diana, but I am Diana, Diana, I like to be like that. Diana cooks and Dario eats. Yes. That was, that was a, that oh was a TikTok God. page. Didn't go very far. I yeah, because they stopped. Yeah. But, but yeah, I mean, but Dario uh, understands the value in that and he gives it back in yeah. return. Yeah. yeah. It's, a lo it's love a languages, isn't it's a lo it? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. one of mine. We're very blessed, just so we're, we're understanding like where this all comes from. This conversation, oh, I think, is probably one of the best ones that I could ever hope for. Oh, and wow. we have... Well, because it's, you know, it speaks to things that you don't pretend, you can't duplicate, and you may never have a chance or an opportunity to kind of talk about in the same light again. You almost wish you could have a podcast with 20 people and do it with the entire It family. would be impossible. I know. If We're Mama was in a room, we'd be like, we'd have can to I mute ask it. you a question? We'd, we'd you need to Mama. have a podcast with Mama. Yeah, we got to get Mama. Mama, Papa, Mama and Papa, because he would Papa be able to be would be in. great. Papa would you be great. You can give him the headphones. Papa that, would say, actually, no. Actually, that'd be great. That's what you should do. Let's do that. Honestly, like you, and I shouldn't even, I don't even need to be on it. You should do the grandchildren and the grandparents. Yeah, no, it was hard to get everybody. Like we'd have to select. It's not and hard. Pick Eddie, and then get everybody. Else's... No, you invite every. I can't no, do that. you yes, would just you do can. it alone with just mom. You know what could be fun it. is if we did like a live showing almost. Like we yeah. did it. Why in can't an area you invite anybody who would come sat. that day? What if we did it in the basement and we let everybody else kind of watch? What? Okay, fine. But have I everybody think it there. Just be you have and a mic like on the side, so there'd be three, two or three main characters. Your brother Vin would be in the way back. Don't yeah. give him a front. He gets a phone call. No. Yeah, no. He, he can get a phone call or be in the way back with like a mic like in the side. Yeah, Vin loves being a part of it. But here's, I, I do want to say one, th one thing too, because of going back to <laughs> Christmas Eve. So Vin and Alyssa are sitting next to each other. Uh -huh. Mama comes over and says, I could butt into any conversation because I know I'm the most beautiful and smartest person in this world. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said. That, Mama she said that? that is amazing. Wow. I swear to God. Oh, so that, God. How old is she? How old is Mama? 83. 85? Something like that. I think she's 85. She's, she's going to be 85, guys. Yeah. She, she has get my presentation. Yes, going to yeah, be 85. Yeah, yeah, yes, 85. She has more confidence. Yeah, you know the day she was born, remember? October 7th. Cold. So, 1960, 1940, 1920. Yeah, I don't know. You're like, there's a movie talk. <laughs> but then it's funny because uh, then Alyssa comes up and she tells me that. Mm. And I'm like, 
she thought it was the funniest thing. So like, that's even, that's one thing right there. Like, what if, uh, you know, now I have a girlfriend that says, oh my God, I can't believe she just said yeah, that to me. Like, right, right like right. pretentious she, grandma. Look, mama's tough. Mama's uh, changed. The one thing that has remained constant with her is her confidence and her ability to like truly say things that um, she's probably, in the higher percentages, she's right. Like she's tr truly in the higher percentage. She's not always right, but in the higher percentages of what she says, she's right. And she's been that way my whole my whole life. And from the first time I like sat down with her in the kitchen at her house, speaking about, you know, she was wrong about when I said to her, I'm going to marry your daughter one day. She thought I was crazy. <laughs> she was wrong. <laughs> and then I proved her. I said I was right. So, but anyway, other than that, I mean, really, that, that's where the dynamic of the family is very important and the cohesiveness and the people that we trust now, looking at them as older beings, we're like, well, they don't maybe know as much. No, no, they know. And they did all of what we have afforded today. And that's this great place of, of learning and growing and just feeling a sense of, true true family you know what something about because you said like mama is mostly right all the time and maybe she's not sometimes but i don't know if this is an age thing mama is never afraid to say what needs to be said mm -hmm. so yeah. like if there's yeah. everybody goes through times and yeah. let's say one of us is going through a time where nobody can get through you like yeah. we're almost nervous to say hey maybe you should like nobody yeah. says something that one individual she's the one that literally said to you i know you don't want to hear this and you're going to pretend like you're not listening to me but i'm going to say it to you anyway and you're going to sit yeah. there and say i'm not listening but you'll walk away and say, you know what? She was right. Mm -hmm. She has a, a knack. Like she just does not care. Doesn't care. And thank goodness, thank God, thank whatever that she doesn't. Because you need a person like that in your life to just set you straight and say, stop having like a pity party on yourself. And, you know, this is how it is. She's the only one that does that. Like, I, I don't really, honestly, if you go through the entire, who else does that? No, she gives it to you straight. She gives if you want to learn about yourself, you go to mama. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> And she's earned it, but she's done oh, that yeah. her whole life. I told you the first time, point of contention, she said, what are you going to do for a living? I'm like, I'm going to coach baseball. She goes, no, you're not. What are you going to do that for? I'm like, I don't know, because I think I'm good at it. I, I know it. She goes, you're not going to make any money doing that. I wasn't even thinking about making money. I was thinking about just doing something I knew how to do. And she hit me between the eyes with it. I was like, Okay. What am I going to do that? Right. She has no problem. <laughs> you don't want me to, I'm not coaching baseball. What am I doing? Yeah. And she challenged me almost to like consider other things. And then other things came. And so away we went. But yeah, I was 22 years old when she said that. I'm trying to think of things that like she has told me about myself that I didn't want to hear from anybody. She's that you're just, ugly. No, 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 we said that. Um, she's not saying that. One yeah. thing where she has her opinion is how yeah, handsome yeah, one, 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 one thing you're not is ugly. She hypes but, up the whole yeah, thing. I'm trying to think like about like my attitude if I yeah. gave her something like and she just gave me right back. That's mine. I want some I family. Want I mean, sure. Family. That's family. Ronnie family. Family. Maybe we went to uh, Pompeii family. Yeah. Ronnie yes. family. It's funny how Eddie has been integrated into the family a little bit, low key for a while. A little bit? He's been the seventh wheel for a A little bit? Yeah. There's you brought him on a family wheel. vacation. There, uh, yeah. No, I said he's been a seventh wheel for a very for, long time. For the Rondi family. Oh, yeah. You come. There, yes. There's there's a, I guess he's the closest to my Disney age. Disney Cruises. This guy. <laughs> How'd you get on the Disney Cruise? <laughs> How'd that happen? Because he wanted uh, that a friend. Was, that was, yeah, that was probably. Was that twice? <laughs> no, once. Once. We went once. Once on the Disney. I feel like you no, went, we went down the shore a lot. It was, it was always down the shore. That's all right. It's all good. But yeah. always had to ride in the very back of the Rondi yes. Escalade. It was very um, calming. Very calming. We sang Kubaya. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we, sure. It was we, always calm. We were knitting. Knit sweaters back there. Sweater. Yeah. We were so peaceful. Uh, screaming. 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 Up until the so teenage. I don't remember how hitting, frustrated screaming. Eddie would be. <laughs> Wait, about how loud we were. Victoria always screamed. Victoria, just Always. Every, well, that, because once, but because she was frustrated, Victoria would scream. Yeah, Joe would scream. Yeah, Diana would scream. Everybody would start screaming. So John would, sc would scream. Yeah. Now, no. do you remember me and Aunt Jen screaming? No, okay, you just good. let it go. See, how about that? They'll how scream, about that? They'll, they here's, will, here's, here's, here's a guy. See, again, they, <laughs> <both> <laughs> they will scream themselves out eventually. Yeah. See, 
You scream. You out. guys would scream in the car. Well, you don't. You fight, and we were no, Mama, no. we'd be up front saying, "Oh my god, my god how did we get here?" I was. How six, did we get? <laughs> and I wanted to drive. <laughs> <laughs> like, Eddie had no. At I that point, Eddie was from a family of four. We no, have five kids. No in volume this car. in that house. No. Yeah. My no dad didn't, doesn't make it was tippy noise. toe, tippy toe, and he would walk into our house. His like, house. What our is house that? was like boom, 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 yeah. loud, very noises. traumatizing, very traumatizing. Yeah, place. yeah. yeah. No. I love that you said that. Mom no. and dad yeah. wouldn't scream. The, the ultimate, kids would, yeah. The ultimate. Well, that's. Is I mean, the, think about like marrying into our family. Like you got to be. Imagine coming from a size of family like yours. You come to the Rondies and you're like. What is going on in here? World They're Tornado. yelling about yeah. everything. Yeah. All they do is yell. Yeah. And I didn't know that wasn't normal. Like I woke up other families and I'm like, the volume was so high. Was it uh, yelling? I guess it's just high, high volume. High volume. High ceilings. Too. Yeah. Yeah. High volume, high ceilings. Yes. <laughs> always high volume. High always high ceilings. Yes. Correct. Yeah. So. Cathedral. Yes. And that echoes. We were yeah. big. We were yeah. big, oh, big family. Yeah. yeah. I reflect on a lot. I, I went on a lot of vacations with the yeah, family. Yeah, you did. That's right. Yeah, you did. Toughened me up, really. And you would think that you would say no. <laughs> I, well, I remember when I was... No, I was. I always wanted. To, I always <laughs> yeah. wanted because like it was, it, was, it was watching like a sitcom for him. Because like you watch a reality TV. I didn't realize that I was like you know an adrenaline junkie going into the <laughs> rendezvous, and then I go back to my. He go back. He go back to video and say you would believe what they did today. Quiet. Yeah, quiet. Then You're I'm, watching like you know B- Barney the purple elf, like, yeah. the dinosaur, yeah. whatever he was. And now and it's just like oh, this is too quiet. I got to go yeah. back to the rendezvous. Family family I, that's what I remember. You felt alive when you were with us. You felt alive. Your blood was pumping because you get something to get thrown at you. Yeah, right. You could be could be shoe. You could get. Tackled, could be a yeah. sandal. Yeah. yeah, could yeah. be. Could be a chair. Were you there for that? Yep. When he broke the chairs and cleaned it up. What chair? Stomped it out. <laughs> yeah, he did. He did. Yeah. What chair? What? You what came down because you were. I, I think I hit Joe or something. Where was I? Down in the kitchen in the Fox Hill. Swept me out. Swept right? me off. Yeah. yeah. Swept my feet out from underneath me. Threw the wait. chair down. Stomped the house. Where was this? Wait, wait. <laughs> Fox Hill. Yes. In the kitchen? No, no in the basement. basement. It's funny how we both remember this vividly. Okay, tell me. About it was it. a white chair. So I don't remember it. I don't. I don't even. I, I it was think a white chair. Yeah. A white, white wooden chair. chair. No, 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 it was wooden like chair. it was like a little like a, a little, little stool. Yeah, a like a little stool. kid set. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It okay. was like that little white table we had full of chairs. Oh yeah, little chair. Mm-hmm. Okay, what happened? Exploded it off the floor. <laughs> what happened? I think there was just an what argument. Were you guys Joe and I were yelling or arguing. I think it hit him maybe or something. Hit him, and then you yeah yeah you gave him the old like you want to you want to be a tough guy and took the chair. Yeah. Not wow. Really. And then you go, now clean it up. <laughs> I don't remember that. Rondi family volume off. Oh, yeah. and did you clean it up? Uh, I, think, I think so. I, think I hope. Out. I might have cleaned it up. <laughs> I smashed the chair. It's wow. so funny you act like so. I don't uh, remember that. That was, that was me. Oh, That's I good. I don't do remember that. that. If you put. If you put whatever to my head and said, you're, I don't, that's removed from my mind. See how scarring not, things you could do as a parent? Well, you shouldn't have been yeah. doing whatever yeah. you were doing in the basement. Derelicts. Derelicts. 90% of the time, it wasn't, you never, you think you would just come halfway down the stairs. You never had to really come all the way down. Just the hearing the, come all hearing the way down, the it was bad. Yeah, it was game on, right. Hearing it the, was bad. the footsteps. Yeah. Just the door. The door had a swing open. <laughs> yeah. I think I, it was six steps and maybe five. Oh, I, like, I yeah. can almost, oh, I could picture. <laughs> I think a door opening now a little scars me a little bit. Just, <laughs> oh, That's right. It's yeah. your fault. He's not there. He's not there. And yeah. I, I think Aunt Jen was the first one to put soap in my mouth, too. Whoa. Wow. 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 Get it. Yeah. I, I really. Tell yeah. me about that. What do you mean she put soap in your mouth? She put a bar of soap in your mouth? I think no, liquid. I think she liquid. used to do yeah, liquid. Scrub, the scrub is liquid. Liquid. Yeah. She used to put it on my mouth all Get the time. Get out of here. She probably wouldn't remember. Time I, out. Again, Explain that to me. I don't, I don't remember all the, everything leading up to it. I must have cursed or said something you know, stupid to somebody, and I got taken upstairs <laughs> and soap in my mouth. I don't what? think my own... Mom has ever put soap in my mouth. And I don't think. I wonder if your mom knows that. Because I wonder if she Does was your even, mom know that. I was. Even, I wonder if they were even there because I was at your house a lot. With, whether they oh were there gosh. or not, I was always there. That's yeah. so funny. I, your mom may not even know this. But to go she to a know. good story, first time I ever played Kick the Can was at Fox Hill. Yeah, we had a good, good time. story. Yeah, Kick the so Can. Oh, a lot of great times. Those, those of you that house. don't, well, come on. Yeah, yeah exactly. Always. We did have a lot of great times, and that was not by accident. That mm. was truly. With an intent to make sure that you guys were at a disadvantage. You didn't have what I had growing up. When we talk about, you know, growing up in the 70s and Uncle Steve telling you some of the things that we did, that was organic stuff, natural stuff. So we had to like prepare that for you. Mm-hmm. So pathetic, but that we was, had to prepare was, it for that you. That was your birthday, right? I had to yeah, teach I you. I remember that in the cul de sac. I had to teach you how to play kick the can. Like, mm-hmm. oh my God, poor kids. They're like, yeah. what? What are we playing? I'm like, yeah, 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 kick the can. 
What do we do? Coffee can? Okay, here's what we do. You yeah. dummies, all you kids that don't know how to play kick the can. It's our own fault. Man. Tap, tap, tap. I see Johnny behind the car. And John, you know, John would have to come out. And then I see tap, tap, tap. I see Eddie over there. Now, if I'm talking to Eddie over here, and behind me is Joe running. I don't see Joe. And Joe kicks the can. Eddie's out of jail. And so is John out of jail. Great game. All you need is a can. Yeah. Hence the name. Kick, kick the, the can. can. Kick the can. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So yeah, if, if you're if you're marrying into a family that's a that's a big loud family, you better be ready to go. Yeah. Buckle up. Be on your A game. I remember when I first girlfriend and only girlfriend, seventeen years old. Oh, her man. house was three women, and a happily married couple, and they were so quiet. And I would go there and I'd be like, Wow. This feels great. It's so peaceful. Like a library. Like, they just made me food. Like that was a library. library. That's boring, though. Yeah. I mean, come on. Life is too short. That's why I always wanted energy. to be there. That's why I always wanted to be there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We're the hub. We were always the hub. Yes. Well, I mean, Dar- Dario, anything, lives, but... Dario lives at the house pretty much, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. So it's uh, it's something, but you got to be you got to be ready for it. And I think- You, can't, you got to be thick-skinned. Yeah. Thick-skinned. Know what you're getting into. Hopefully, Dario appreciates our family. Hopefully, you appreciate- Hmm. His family, you and Alyssa are doing a fantastic. But interestingly enough, like your dynamic, I don't want to say less predicated on the family, but like her being fourteen meeting versus twenty eight meeting, I don't know if it's the same. You know, because realistically, if, if Alyssa didn't gel with your family or mom, you're not mm-hmm. in the house anymore. You know, it's a little bit different. Yeah, I'm, I mean, assuming that's just in general marriage and relationships when you're older you can kind of get away from the family but Dario didn't really have much choice no, <laughs> didn't have a choice you wanted to he hang was, out with Diana you had to go to Diana's house in or out <laughs> and, and everybody was there home at that time at all times there was well I, I like to say that that built um, or there was built in respect like Dario still to this day won't like will barely kiss Diana in front of me you know cause like yeah, we're, yeah, we're in the house true. and mm-hmm. stuff like that <laughs> if you have like an outsider coming in they may not even know that there's like a boundary of a line. You know, mm-hmm. the door, they're in the room, their door is always open. Like, there's never any concern about anything. No locked doors in this house. Yeah. 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 No locked doors. A lot, no of, lot trust. of doors in this house. A lot yeah. of trust going on. But yeah. still, I mean, you know, that's the great thing about our family is that even though we are older, when we do get together, enjoy those moments. And there's a lot yeah. of people and there's people you want to be around and hang out with. So to bring somebody into that means a lot too. Yeah. To have that ability to bring somebody mm-hmm. in. And she's hanging out. She's having a great time. She meets a lot of great people. And now, you know, mom's yeah. texting me. Love her so much. Yeah, now you have a oh. second family. And just know that as soon as you leave, we're talking about you. As oh. soon as you leave. What? Good thing. Are? So. Good, bad, and different, we're talking about you. Really? Which I think is important. Yeah, I think it's important to get other people's feedback and opinion on. Oh, you mean like the first time? Oh, as, as soon a as a girl yeah, leaves yeah, yeah. or a guy leaves the yeah. house, the family is saying how they feel about him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, correct. Well, that makes that's sense. Important. Well, credit to Mama and Papa for building and growing what we have today. Yeah. Because they they truly did it. No one else did it. Mm-hmm. Right? All that we did as curators of what they laid the groundwork for is carried it on. And that's you know, that's mom, Uncle Vin, Aunt Laura's um, responsibility, which now plays itself through to you guys. And this is where as you come to a point of contention, what's going to happen? You're not there yet, but it'll happen. And when it happens, you have to make decisions. And the uh, decisions that you make are going to set the, the tone for what comes. So Yeah. Good well, luck. This, this has been a lot of fun. Great, great conversation. Um, mm-hmm. Hope you guys liked it. Comment below how your family deals with significant others. That's it for today. Like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff, guys. Cheers. Peace.